Hey guys and friends. Hey guys. It's Jay and Francis with Fine and Crazy. We are a family of nine. We live full time in our RV with five of our kids. Go around the country to see every national park. And we are up in New England, slowly making our way to Acadia, where we're going to spend the next two weeks. But it takes a little while to get there. Uh, so we've got a couple of single stops along the way. And of course, we're trying to find stuff to do. So one of the things we're really doing is hooking up with friends. Lots of friends that we met at the full-time rally uh, that we did uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, and we're getting to connect with um, several of them. In fact, the last three stops, we've been able to connect with families that we met there at the rally. And the cool thing about that is a lot of them have already been in this area and say that they know really, really cool things to do in each of the places that we're at. And so what we're doing today is following some of their advice. Come along. So we are staying in one of the thousand trails that's up here in the northeast and that's been one of the nice things about traveling up through here is there are lots and lots of thousand trails yes uh, and so we are staying at moody beach which is just over uh, just into maine just a little bit uh, it's actually in wells maine is the name of the town um, but right up and down the coastline right there moody beach is obviously on the beach um, but right up and down that coastline there are tons of little bitty towns tons of cute little restaurants and shops uh, and we are doing a cliff walk uh, that's right outside of one. It's called the Marginal Way Walk. Uh, and the name of the little town is... A gun quit. Uh, <laughs> Say that three times fast. Real. So a gun friends quit. of ours recommend it. So there's lots of um, beaches, lots of um, rock jetties, lots of tidal pools. There's actually a big beach um, right across from us. It's yeah. got tons of people on it. So there's not a lot of people on uh, the walk, which is great. So we kind of have this whole little jetty here. Uh, to ourselves right now. Not to ourselves. Um, so the kids are loving it, uh, yes. playing in the water. Uh, it's great. Yeah, and sometimes that's just a really great tip that you can do was if you're staying somewhere and you might not have the opportunity to um, maybe spend a lot of money or spend a lot of time, but we have found even just a few hours getting out, exploring the town, uh, maybe getting a fun snack, or just exploring a new short walk or hike can be so educational, can be so good to make it feel like you're not just stopping at short stops along the way. And that's kind of what we've been doing. The friends have been wonderful. We're having a pizza party tonight, uh, but also just getting out into nature and seeing what each little place has to offer. So if you're a Thousand Trails member, you're gonna wanna try this walk, but also you need to come at low tide. So make sure that you check the tidal um, times because this way you get all this huge jetty. You get to see tons of tidal pools. We have seen shrimp. There was even this really cool thing where this guy just put her hand in the water and the shrimp just came and were on her hand. It is so wonderful because uh, in the um, south and in the Gulf, we don't experience a lot of all of these tidal pools. And we are loving just seeing the different types of crustaceans, the different types of animals and crabs. We've seen fish today. Um, it has been wonderful. And so I suggest that no matter where you're stopping along the way, even if it isn't your final destination, look for ways to get out of the camper, get out of your comfort zone, and enjoy some of the nature all around you because you don't want to miss out on some of these small little towns in Maine.
right, so we are playing on the beach over here. Right beside the jetties are several small beaches um, where you can just play and the kids are getting in the water. It is beautiful. It's crystal clear blue. Um, there's also a cute little lighthouse right here. Lobster Point Lighthouse. Lobster Point Lighthouse. Also, there is pay parking that is really, really close um, to this area of Moody Beach. Yeah. Um, but you want to make sure that you put plenty of time. We put two hours and we are going to squeeze every bit of that. So you might want to put a little bit more time than you think. $4 an hour, 25 for the day. Yeah, so you might just want to make sure that you bring maybe a picnic lunch and you bring your uh, water shoes or your swim outfits and really kind of make a day of it because if you're here in the summer, it's beautiful and our kids aren't ready to leave, but our time says we've got to go. So make sure you do a little bit extra time.